Hey guys, Black Boat Girl here, and today I'm going to be creating a series where if you have run into a problem where you have got new digital mod design one and you just didn't have time to do it and you ran out of time and you s have forgotten what to do. So I'm going to be teaching you what to do in these situations. So in this first episode I will be teaching you how to make a new mod change the name of your mod and just mess around with some stuff and learn some of the basics so first you're going to go into your youth digital folder which you got in the download with youth digital then you're going to click on mod design one then you're going to click on new mod And I'm going to name it Test Mod. Click Save. And Eclipse should begin loading. So it won't take long. It'll take about 30 seconds to load. And when you first get it, it will look like this. Okay? We have this main.java. We have, you, here's all of our imports. Here's the declaration section, the load section, and the recipe section, and the extra methods section. So you guys will learn what these are later on in the program, but first, we're gonna pay attention to right here right here so this tells us what the name of our mod is so this right here we're gonna type in SHS ray radiation mod so you guys can type whatever you want your mods name to be but I just so happen to want to make a radiation mod so now I want you guys to pause the video and do that make sure to be precise and do not delete these because if you delete these clips will not be happy so make sure you don't delete those do it in between and make sure it turns, turns blue. Now pause the video and do that. Okay guys, so now that you have renamed your mod, you are going to look at all the folders we have here. So in the package explorer, we have this Minecraft folder. So what you can do is you can either click once on this or double click here. So you're never, never, ever going to hear these you don't want to mess with. So we're always going to go into source. Here in the assets folder is where you're going to keep all of your images for your mods. So here we have all of your armor images, your block images, just all of your textures for your mod. Here we have all of the code that you're going to be using for your mod. As you can see, main.java is here. And here's all this. So, guys, just check that out. And that's all. Oh, and make sure to click Control S after you save, you change the name of your mod. And, yep. That is the beginning to my series of how to rename and make your new mod through Youth Digital. Bye!